right, so we're back, and uh, so let's get this thing open. I looked over the instructions. Honestly, it's very self-explanatory if you uh, if you ever done anything in your life, I guess. Um, it's very self-explanatory. Oh, there's a huge hornet over there next to my shed. It's like the size of my thumb. It's really big. It's huge. It looks scary looking. I've seen someone get bit by a hornet. Let me tell you, it's a scary situation. Um, well, stung, whatever, bit, stung, whatever. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, let, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to cut this open, roll it out a little bit. Um, it's hot enough, so it's nice and flexible. It is sunny out. Hopefully, you guys can see. Hopefully, my phone doesn't overheat because it overheats in the sun after like 10 minutes. All right, I'm just trying to strain it out a little bit. Um, see, I don't need that many feet that I got. I got extra just in case I wanted to do another project or shoot it out another way or something like that. So I got a little bit more than I needed to. Um, so, uh, yeah. But I'm thinking... Uh, you're better off starting from over there, right? With the uh, with the piece, and then taking the roll and going where you're gonna need it, right? Going around the perimeter where you're gonna use it, and then just sticking it up, because I want to unravel it at the same time, because it's like a little knotty, like a hose is. So that's the only thing. So I want to take that out as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take that out. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna roll this out. I'm gonna roll it uh, where I'm gonna use it exactly of where I'm gonna use it uh, And we'll come back to that because you're not gonna see me rolling that out So we're gonna roll that out and then um, we're gonna get uh, the, the kinks out of it the uh, the knot out of it You know what I mean because it was rolled up like that So yeah, you saw me do I don't know if it got cut off with the camera But you saw me just roll it roll it out so you're better off just rolling it out so you don't have knots okay so i'm going to roll that out in the in the perimeter that i'm going to do it you guys are going to see that so we'll be right back in a couple of minutes all right <clears throat> all right <clears throat> all right so uh, i didn't get to lay it out yet because i wanted to connect this first uh to see how long i have and stuff like that okay what i'm thinking is since this um this is, you know, quarter inch uh, water line. You can't put it under the ground. You can't put it under, you know, uh, anything that's going to be above it. Uh, it'll crack, break, you know, compress. It, it, you won't get any water through it, whatever. So you don't have any options to put it down here. I don't want to make it a limbo bar and put it in the middle. Um, this is going to be another 10 inches higher, 12 inches higher uh, once I install my bases on here. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to go from here up to here and this way the lowest height will be here so we'll go up continually and then I'm thinking about putting a uh, one of the misters I'm gonna have it in the center right here and spraying like a mist down so at least if you're standing right here you can get some mist on you if you're not I don't really care you know whatever but you have that option so uh, so yeah that's what I was thinking about doing I don't know if I need two mist or one mist one mist should probably do with a do me justice but that's what I'm gonna do so let's get this going get this quick um, like I said so we're not wasting so much time here so you could put a screw through here and different uh, material and stuff I'm gonna put self tappers right in there the problem is when I'm drilling up there I see there's bees going in the top of that gutter I don't know if you could see that but there's there's bees going in that gutter so what I'm thinking is that there is a uh, there's a nest under there, which I'm not happy about. So we might have to do some spraying of some chemical or at least spray the hose up there to get them pissed off and get them out. So, uh, all right. Uh, and another thing, I'm, I want to reuse these. Um, what you can do, you know, uh, what other people do is, yes, you just drill it in once, zip tie it, and that's it. The problem is, is if this cracks, breaks, whatever, you got to put a new one in. You could, you could take the screw out and drill it back in. If you have it with wood, that's fine. I'm using it on very thin aluminum. So I don't want to uh, have to keep, you know, taking the screw out and then putting the screw in. You know what I mean? And then uh, what's going to happen is the hole's going to get too big and then it's going to be all loosey-goosey on. You know what I mean? I don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to put this in and then use a zip tie after it to hold it in to hold it into place um just so like i said i could just replace it without having to mess with the screw and make it you know the whole ream the hole out or make it bigger or strip it or whatever
So see, I'm pretty much gonna do it like that. It's not gonna be as loose. I gotta, I'm gonna make it tighter when I get this raised in another two days. Um, but this is gonna be the just of it. So we'll be right back and then you're gonna see uh, the rest of my setup as I do this. Um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna make it tight, like I said. This is gonna be higher, so it's all gonna look good. Look at the bees all over there, flying on the top, little bastards. All right, so I'll be back, guys. All right, everyone, so we're back with the uh, misting uh, setup. Um, so this is what I did. I raised my tent on the base, as you saw in my other videos, I made bases. Uh, those aren't done yet, that's why they're just on plastic, just so I can get the height. I'll, uh, I'll put those in tomorrow because I got to wait for those to dry because I made them look how thick I made them So they take uh, a couple days to dry um, So I had to do that with that and then I raised that the canopy and then I um, uh, Was able to get a good um, You know line of what I need so I'm gonna run it over there I'm gonna have two misters over here That's gonna be connected onto the ceiling or the wall and that's gonna go to the uh, water source So we'll see that and so I did a dry fitting as you can see, I went in in the corner right here, and then I went up, and see, I went all the way around. I know it looks loose. This is just a dry fit, so I wanted to make sure everything was good. See, I did it like that, and then uh, on this side, I put it up to face the pool, and then I made another line down here, and that's going to face outside the pool, because I don't have anything facing outside the pool. So I put three nozzles facing outside. I do probably have like an extra 20 feet maybe um, so I can use that for something else in the roll as you can see so all we're gonna do is just cut the cut that off right there and stick in the um, the cap and that's all we're gonna do for that so I'm gonna tighten these up we'll come back we're gonna see these nice and tight um, I'm gonna start on one end whichever end I choose and then I'm gonna put all of these are loose these zip ties so I'm gonna pull it through and then tighten it while I'm pulling it to make it nice and tight all the way around all right and then we'll come back and we'll see the finished product of it actually looking tight and then we got a whole nother process of checking for leaks and turning it on and blah 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 put a uh, I put um, a closed off uh, socket in here a closed valve so no spray comes out because it was getting on my speakers so I I cancel that one out so it starts there instead and then it goes around so this is the finished product I made it nice and tight see what I did up oh, sorry there you go see what I did all the way around Uh, I see I did a double zip tie on a lot of the uh, on these valves so the valve would stay in place so I, I kind of you know I didn't want to do that I kind of over uh, um, zip tied it everywhere but this keeps it a lot more secure and then I can position these how I want and they stay there a lot tighter so that's the reason why I did a double on a lot of um, the uh, the sprayers see there's double on that too all right, so we're going to turn this on. You guys are going to see what it looks like. I also put some along the tent facing this side so it comes out as well. Uh, so we're going to we're going to turn on the water and this is how I have it connected just to the hose. It's just to show you the final product. That's all. All right, so here we go. like what they have at the theme park so that's kind of what it looks like you can hear it spraying the camera's gonna get wet corals playing in it say so it's spraying out all in there and it's really cool the kids like it it splash you know throws some water I'm gonna put mine on a timer so it's gonna go for 15 minute intervals so we're not wasting a lot of water um, but it's only a misting so it's not actually using that much water it's just misting the water out um, but yeah that's kind of the setup and that's what I did. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I put up stuff to help out the community. Just like I get help from the community before you go buying the stuff. Alright? So everyone enjoy. Glen Velvet Reviews is out. Bye-bye. <laughs>